Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. Chuckles here, and today I want to talk about fusion rifles. There's a popular belief that fusion rifles are unusable. This isn't true. Shotguns are a lot easier to use, but people just say fusion rifles are bad because shotguns are easier to use. So let's talk about a fusion rifle, its perks, and what's going to make it viable in the Crucible in its current state. I find that close quarter scopes with increased target acquisition is like honestly extremely helpful and just all around the best option. You don't need a medium or high range zoom on your scope because you're not going to be sniping somebody with your fusion. It's meant for close to medium engagements, mainly just close engagements similar to the one that you see in gameplay now. So for the second column, I find there's three viable perks here. Hip fire is really good because you can strafe while charging and it won't slow you down like you would if you resumed. But I don't use it because you can honestly do without. Here's why. Hit in hand, in my opinion, is more effective than hip fire because I can move around while I'm charging like you see almost in every time in this gameplay. I charge it from the hip and I zoom in at the very last second right before I fire off the burst. Just like that. And that's why I find that hit in hand is just so much more effective and beneficial than hip fire. Hip fire is almost a wasted perk if you can master how we're supposed to use fusion rifles by charging behind walls or charging and releasing at the last second while you zoom in. And the last perk is feeding frenzy. It's great for reloading. It really is. It's a good option. It's nothing wrong with that option. But honestly, I just hit in hand is, in my opinion, so much more effective. But of course, those two are preference perks. Either one is a good option. So, let's talk about the middle column. If you have a fast charging and lower impact fusion like the Split Shifter Pro, then Braced Frame is the best option. If you have a low charge rate and a high impact fusion like the Give Take Equation, then you want accelerated coils. How? And here's the reason accelerated coils for the Give Take and not the Split Shifter. Accelerated coils make your fusion rifle charge faster, however it decreases the damage per projectile. Split Shifter without accelerated coils takes 5 projectiles to kill somebody. A split shifter with the coils takes six projectiles to kill somebody. And the split shifter has seven projectiles total. So, yes, you charge faster, but it's at the cost of your projectiles doing less damage. The thing is, on the give take or fusion rifles like that, you really, really need to have that extra charge. And so it's worth taking it. And it's already a high impact. So you don't have to really worry about the impact dropping off. Whereas on the split shifter, it's really, really crucial that you have that impact to burst somebody down. You don't want to have to make sure you land all six projectiles. So the last column, you have a few options. Army of One is really good. It's a preference perk though. Hot Swap can also be good if you pull out your fusion rifle and then you burst somebody and then you go back to your primary. But that's a situational thing and that's a preference as well. The next perk is Battle Runner. This is my favorite. It's absolutely amazing for Rumble as you can see in this gameplay. You can really just get around the map so much quicker. The mobility that it gives you, the just honestly the mobility and the fact that you can just move around the map so quick and even in control to move from objective to objective. If you're a very aggressive player or you like to move a lot, then this is really, really good. Honestly, you compare or pair the split shifter with, say, a battle runner and then the Maida as your primary. That's an amazing and insanely fun combo. You are just flying across the map. If you guys haven't tried that, I would definitely recommend trying that. That is just my preference, of course, though. So there's two more perks in this column. There's Icarus and there's Rangefinder. Let's talk about Rangefinder first. Rangefinder doesn't benefit fusions really at all, contrary to what people actually believe. Here's why. The base range stat affects how fast your projectiles travel. Rangefinder, however, does not affect the travel speed, so it's really not benefiting you all that much. If you increase your base range, then you're going to be increasing the projectile speed. However, with Rangefinder, it increases the range while you're zoomed in, which may affect how far your particles travel or your projectiles travel, but it's not going to be increasing the speed at which they travel. And honestly, the farther your projectiles travel, the more they cone out. So it's really not that effective as a perk, even though people seem to believe it is. Now, I didn't do the research on this. This is a thread that I found on Reddit and a lot of uh, evidence to support it or back it up. I wish I remembered the guy's name or the thread. I'll try and find it and put it in the description if I can. But if not, know that there has been lots of research and studies done to actually show this. Lastly, there's Icarus. The thing about Icarus is, Icarus is an interesting and situational perk. Planet Destiny did a video on it actually to where it does benefit fusion rifles and auto rifles quite a bit. That's the only perk I haven't really played around with, but I can't, of course, it's also a preference perk. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for fusion rifles. As always, thanks for watching, hope you're having an awesome day, and I'll see you later.